All right, ladies and gentlemen, late Friday afternoon check-in from uh, Dr. Pete. Um, I just have one thing that I want to talk to you all about. This is a really simple issue, and I think that doing it on video is going to be better than just writing something to you. Uh, and it's this. Um, I'm getting a lot of really long, chunky paragraphs that cover a lot of different topics. It is the number one comment that I'm making on y'all's papers, which I'm, I'm all done with, going to return them tomorrow. They're all very, very good. No one should be worried right now. Uh, but I do want to point out that a lot of you aren't writing in an engineering kind of way. And so I want to show you, I'm going to share my screen here. I want to show you a sample uh, paragraph. All right. So this is good info, but it's wordy. I'm going to hide myself for just a second. Look at this big old paragraph. The main obstacle for construction of the bridge would be the times at which it is safe to have workers on site. Since class is in session all day and rush hour traffic will continue past 6 a.m., it'd be best to construct the pedestrian bridge at night. Another obstacle would be making sure the sidewalks are accessible next to University Drive as hundreds of students use these paths to get to and from class. An issue with the location of the construction site is how heavy machinery we moved in and out of the site since the street would be closed at night. Okay, so this is good information. What they're telling us is how to schedule a major construction project on University Drive, try to keep it safe, try to keep traffic moving. But ask yourself, you're writing to me, I'm your engineering boss, right? That's the scenario. And so you don't have to tell me that safety is important. I already know safety is important. You don't have to tell me that you need a spot to store equipment because I already know that. So let's see if, if we can shorten this just a little bit. I want to show you what I did to this paragraph to make it more meaningful to me. I split it into two headings, potential obstacles and site access. The potential obstacles have been reduced to night construction will be necessary due to heavy pedestrian and vehicular traffic that continues well past 6 p.m. Sidewalks must remain accessible. Those seemed like, to me, the two most important pieces of information from that part of the paragraph. And then site access. The parking lot behind McDonald's is a potential equipment storage slash laydown site. An alternative is to shut down a lane of traffic for parking the heavy equipment. So we go from a big, long, meaty paragraph to four very concise, uh, uh, brief uh, sentences. I want you to go back, read that other paragraph. Did I miss something? Is there something critical that has to go in here? Because I don't think there is. Um, but my point is, on, on virtually everybody's paper so far, I've written a comment like, uh, new topic equals new paragraph, or you're covering more than one topic in this paragraph, or reduce by half, right? In other words, like your information, it's good stuff, but it's really wordy. Remember, this is engineering. We're not writing for length. We're writing for efficacy, right? And so any words that don't belong or don't help, don't go. All right, that's it. I just wanted to pass that along. Remember, you're writing for concision. Longer is not better, right? Longer is just more work. Okay, hope y'all have a good weekend. Stay cool if you're in Texas or the Southwest Aggies. Man, it's awful. Okay, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.